Reggie, can you believe it's already Thursday? Hey guys! I'm the king of the world! Oh, your skin is so dry, puppy. Today I'm going to share with you the story of how I met Reggie. The year was 2010. The month was March. The day was... I don't remember. My roommate at the time found this dog in the middle of the street in Compton. If you're unfamiliar with Compton, Google it. You'll become familiar with it. That is how Reggie landed in my lap. He was straight off the streets of Compton. I brought him home and he was scared and the first minute he walked into the house, he pooped on the carpet. And I was devastated because I had my fingers crossed that maybe, just maybe, this street dog was potty trained. But guess what? After that initial poop, he never did it again. Right, buddy? The only time you have ever had an accident in the house since then was when you had diarrhea and you pooped in my running shoes. Do you remember that? I do. I look back at that day when my roommate found him and I had to make a decision of whether I wanted him or not. And I am so glad I just jumped in and said, yes, I'll take it. Well, uh, I'll figure it out. Let's keep this dog. Okay, I'm gonna do it. He has brought so much joy and happiness to my life. And yes, stinky poops too. Everyone should rescue a dog. It's the greatest feeling in the world, right, boo? Old gray beard, gray face McGee. And now I will share with you some photos of Reggie from the last four years of our relationship. It's been good, buddy. And we're gonna have plenty more where that came from, right? See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Your chin and snout are turning gray, but I still love you. And